It's summertime. That's right. That means swimming, eating watermelons, barbecues, fireworks, and lastly, bug hunting. Speaking of, there's one right here. But let's avoid a boss battle for now and settle for something much smaller. Preferably something not moving nor alive. Let's start off with this bug amber dig kit being sold by Gobi Dex. Behold, this stylish box and the way it rotates via slow motion. So fancy. How about three perspective shots with me as a size comparison? This is huge. I absolutely adore these educational knickknacks. I actually have quite a few of them. I also just really like looking at bugs. So does this cat. Don't get me wrong, they're gross and repulsive up close. But that's why they're so cool. There's just so many miniature details on them that you can't see with a naked eye. Inside the package are three digging essentials. And we get some safety goggles for your eyes. And a handy dandy magnifying lens to see my shame. Is it here? The rest of the product is the plaster, which would have the artificial resin for the insects. As an educational background of what bugs there are, I chose not to look at this until the end of this. So I'm going to be surprised for what we find. First step is to repair the workstation. So I prepared a bowl of water in order to soften the plaster. I try to organize as much as I can, and then I open up the tools. In here, we have a little chisel. As the name implies, this chisels things. Secondly, we also have a handy little brush. It gives you high fives and also sweeps away your crime. So it's good for cleanup. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And the final tool, a little mallet that doubles as a weapon. So you can stab things with it. So now we are all prepared for excavation. But don't forget your safety goggles and your lens. And at last, we could finally get started using my weapon! Using this tool, I delicately removed the plastic off the plaster brick. It was a very tense situation, but I managed to do it 100% success rate. Thankfully, there was nothing complex about this project. After the removal of its plastic skin, it's easy going from here, although quite messy. So we just have to moisturize multiple times and use these three tools to dig open its insides. You'll have to forgive me for my preferred use of vocabulary. I, I get kind of excited sometimes. <laughs> Man, okay, so when I was younger, my dad had a bunch of artifacts around the house. And they looked so fancy to little old me. There was a Buddha statue, and supposedly there was a gem somewhere, but I didn't find that. And Papa Shiori told me that he used to be an archaeologist, and he would dig around in Egypt. So I was so excited to hear that. I was like, wow, my daddy is an archaeologist? That sounds so cool. I can't wait to tell everyone for show and tell. But then one day, this was years later after that fact, years way down the road, I was playing in the garage, just kind of looking at all the junk collected. <laughs> it was also his man cave, I suppose. Anyway, I looked at below the items and it said made in- And uh, let's just say I felt like he betrayed me. <laughs> it's like my childhood was just ruined in one false swoop. So that was, that was a thing. Worry not, these tears are not because of that tidbit about my childhood. <laughs> what am I- What am I supposed to do with this? Clean it like this? It is simply because my gloves have gotten dirty. <laughs> I have not found any bugs, unless I'm doing like a horrible job and I ended up destroying it completely. In which case, I certainly hope not. Perhaps- Oh! 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 There's something here! Okay, let's- Let's try and treat this- very dull. Oh, there you go. I'm done. <laughs> oh, we will look at this later. I don't know what it is. It looks pretty cool, though. Voila! The first sign of progress. And I was still trying to ensure that I didn't miss any tiny bug ambers. But now that I knew how big it was, it was actually kind of easy to find the rest. And I was so excited for its axe. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. 
I don't know how I'm gonna clean this table later. <laughs> I'm assuming there's nothing in here. Okay. There ain't anything. Man, actually, you know what would've been smart? You know, I was wondering if I just dip this in a bucket of water and then I broke it in the end, I imagine it'd be so much easier then. <laughs> but that's not the spirit of this. Not the spirit of my fun educational video. Oh my gosh. It's gonna turn into a cleaning se- ah! <gasps> Cleaning segment later. Oh no, my cat! My cat got covered in mesh. I might as well go all in. That's right. We're going in! Oh, that looks cool. Okay, this is three out of something? How many bugs are in here? Oh, I shouldn't spoil myself, even though I'm sure I, I saw a picture of something. Anything? I doubt it. I'm just gonna, oh, you know what? You know what? Here. The easiest way to go about things is to actually leave it in here. <laughs> I feel something here. Yeah. There you go. Gosh, this, this room was clean before. I cleaned, oh, that looks cool. I cleaned everything up. Everything was well prepared, organized, and now it's just hot, stuffy, and dirty. Just like jail. Oh, I don't know what this is. Is this all of it? I need to know, otherwise I'll be wasting my time. Okay, no. Spirit of archaeology, we must continue looking. Just stab until you can't stab no more. Oh, hey, there is one more. Nice. Nice suit. Yeah! I feel like this is it. See, they told me the amount of insects there'd be. So now that I know, like, what's the point of continuing? Look at this mess. It used to be a happy sugar life. Now it's just sugar. Unhappy sugar life. How do I end by recording without touching my phone? Do I use my tongue? Is there any part of my body Preferably within my hands that is clean. Tongue it is. Long last, the quest to find the bugs is complete. And now it's just a matter of cleaning up and reading the cards on what type of insects we've uncovered today. I've also taken the liberty of exchanging my dirty pair of gloves for a new set. Here's purple. <laughs> I got tons of these. With the fruits of our labors upon us, it is now time to identify these little bug creatures. So going from left to right, we're going to begin with a spiny orb weaver. These are generally harmless, they rarely bite, unless you magically piss them off somehow. If it has a brightly colored shell, most likely it is a female orb weaver. But they only live for one year, and they tend to appear around October to November. Generally speaking, insects don't live that long anyway, so I really should not be surprised, but I, I get a little bit sad for them sometimes. This one here is essentially a ladybug, or in scientific terms, a coccinellidae or a coccinellidae. At least, I hope I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> they're good for your garden and they're herbivores. Hopefully you know a lot more about ladybugs though. <laughs> Oh, one fun fact though, they eat their eggs. So that's that's kind of cool. It's pretty hardcore, but hey, that's that's neat. This is a cotton stainer known as Pyrocoridae slash Pyrocoridae, and you will most likely find them in the mythical land of Florida. If it's hot, humid, and particularly moist, you will most likely find them in places that exhibit those traits. This is an Asian hornet. Although, what my card omits is that this is actually an Asian giant hornet, I think. They are one of the largest wasp species in the world, not particularly friendly, most likely to make you unalive if it stings you, and they can destroy a swarm of honeybees. Those poor, honey-sucking bees. This is, I am sure you are aware of, a scorpion. You have seen it in Animal Crossing, it chases you menacingly when you are simply walking about with your net. 
It has been around since the age of dinosaurs, and it can eradicate their prey with their pincers. Last but not least, the rose chafer, or the Cetonia errata. They are summer beetles, and after they mate, once the females lay the egg, they just, they just go kaput. They live for about two years, and they like to crawl on your little legs if you let them. And they're also poisonous if you eat them. So don't eat them. <laughs> Four days later, I have finally finished this video and I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this story. Now, I hope to see you all next time for whatever fun quirky video I make. So, see you